Dear friends, this is the another problem regarding the 8 marks problem. 8 marks long answer combination problem that is especially on the topic of potentiometer. Let's go for that. A potentiometer wire is 5 meter long. A potential difference of 6 volts is maintained between the ends. It ends. Find the EMF of a cell which balance against the length of 180 centimeters of the potentiometer. So dear students, one potentiometer is there. That wire has how much length? 5 meters. And in the between of, for example, it is the wire. This is the wire. It is the point A and this is the point B. Between these two points, how much potential difference is there? 6 volts it is there. Clear. Find the EMF of your cell which balances the against the length of 180 centimeters of the potentiometer wire. So already what we know, this is the primary circuit and some like this. And in the secondary circuit there is one CLED is there. Clear. And the should be balances the wire. That will show some galvanometer reading is how many some zero it is there. So the process is whatever it is. While we are making the some procedure for the distance of 180 centimeters, the potentiometer is going to be balanced. Then we have to find out the EMF of this cell, what we are connected in the secondary circuit, that is the problem. Okay. Simply it is the children. There is one potentiometer wire is there that should be having length 5 meters. And in between the ends of the wires, how much potential is there? 6 volts is applied. And then what you have to find out? EMF of this cell. So when we are using that particular cell, the balancing length how much you are adding? 180 centimeters. So dear students, what we know, working principle of potentiometer, working principle of potentiometer, potentiometer. What do you write? Epsilon is proportional to L or epsilon is equals to pi into L. Epsilon is equals to pi into L. What is L? Length of the wire. And what is pi? Potential gradient. What is potential gradient? So potential gradient nothing but what is V by L. V by L. Clear. So what is V potential? What is L? S. Here capital L is the length of the wire. Capital is what? Length of the potentiometer wire. Potentiometer wire. And what is small l? Small l is the balancing length. Balancing length. Now here what is potential gradient? Pi is equals to V how much? 5. Sorry. Uh, how much it is? 6 volts. Here what is? Potential how much? 6 volts. And length is how much? 5. So then epsilon equals what right? Pi into 6 by 5 into how much LED is there? 180 centimeters. 180 centimeters that is going to be converted into the meters like this. 180 centimeters is equal to 180 into 10 power of minus 2 meters. Minus 2 meters. Then obviously what you have right here? Simply epsilon equals to 6 by 5 into 18 into 10 power of minus 1. 18 into 10 power of minus 1. So 18 by 5 I am going to write as 5 3s are 15 and 3.6. 18 by 5. 5 3s are 15. 18 minus 15 is how much is 3 is it? So it is 3.6. 3.6. So epsilon is equal to 6 into 3.6 into 10 power of minus 1 3.6 into 6 6 is 36 6 3 is 18 18 plus 3 21 so that means what here epsilon is equal to 21.6 into 10 power of minus 1 10 power of minus 1 then what you get here epsilon is equal to 21.6 by 10 we can write that is what 2.16 volts 
so here what is emf is what 2.16 volts emf of the given cell is how much 2.16 children 